Hey guys, Miss Rivera here. Um, this week for lesson number six, we are doing um radian measure. So our warm up for this week is um all about going from degrees to radians. Uh, so before we can start, so it says today's lesson is all about angles. To review how to measure an angle from zero to three hundred and sixty, place the correct angle measurement in degrees next to each line segment below. The first few are done for you. So. If you remember from our unit circle um, activity or lesson, we actually completed the entire unit circle. So what you are going to do for your warm up is just finish it all. And it's only degree measurements. You don't have to put it in radians. So we know that the first block right in our quadrant one over here, um, we go from 30, 45, 60. And this one, obviously, right, if this is our starting angle, Right, we're looking at this created angle here. Well, this is gonna be 90 degrees. And so maybe the easiest part to do first is just to do every 90. So if this is 90, then this one is 180. And then down on the bottom quadrant over there, right here between quadrant three and four, here we have 270. And then from there, Maybe the next easiest ones is to do all the 45s. So if this is 45, then 45, then this is going to be 90. 90 plus 45 gives you um, 135. So let's put that in there. Oh, I don't know what happened. Okay, so 135. And then from there, you can do the rest of the 45s, right? Then 135 plus 45 gives you 180. Then 180 plus 45 gives you whatever. And then continue on from there. Um, and then for the th 30s and 60s, right, this is 30, 30 plus 30 is 60, 60 plus 30 is 90, 90 plus 30 is um, 120, 120 plus 30 whoop, gives you that, then when, when, um, 150 plus 30 gives you uh, 180, and then go on from there and complete the rest of those, all right? So for the warm-up, just helping you out with that unit circle, you're just going to complete all the degrees, right? Um, for number two, it says, imagine if you are trying to measure the length of your shoelace, your ruler is six inches long, and you find it takes four ruler lengths to measure the entire shoelace. How long is the shoelace? Um, so if your ruler is six inches long, and it takes you four ruler lengths, right? Six times four, how much is that, right? Your shoelace is that much long. Um, and then you continue, right? It's just a warm up. So number three, now imagine that you are me are trying to measure the circumference of the circle. Uh, your ruler is a radius. Your ruler is the radius of the circle. And you find it takes you two pi times the radius lengths to measure the entire circumference. Since the circle has 360 degrees, that means that 360 degrees is equal to two pi radians. And if you remember from class, we, we remember that. Um, we recall that that um conversion and then from there well if we know that 360 degrees is 2 pi how much is 180 well 180 is half of 360 so we're going to do 2 pi over 2 well that means 180 is um equal to pi radians and then again 90 is half of 180 so half of pi so 90 is pi over two radians, right? And so you continue to use that proportion and complete the um, the chart, okay? So we're going from degrees to radians and we're, we're looking, if you notice, we're looking over here at 360, 180, 90, 45. Those are some of our main um, ones from our unit circle. And the same here, 30, 60, 120, 360. Those are some of our main uh, or common uh, degree measurements. Then number four, we know that 120 plus 60 equals 180. You're gonna rewrite this equation using radians. Okay, so once you do the conversions up here, it'll it'll make it so much easier to do the next question. Um, and so you go from there. And remember that you wanna look at, if, if this is 360, if we divide it by 120, what is the proportion, the ratio that you're gonna do to figure out the next radian? What did you what did you get? 360 divided by 120. That's what you have to divide 2 pi by. Okay. Um, and then we already know that 180 is equal to pi. So whatever you get has to equal pi. Okay, and you show that.
Now, if you forgot, you could use your draw tool on Word, and if your touch screen works, you can touch it that way. Or if you have an external mouse, that'll make it easier to write on. Or if you rather print it out and write on paper, you could do that. Or if you don't have a printer, you want to just write it on paper, number one, two, three, that's fine too. Take a picture, upload it. All right. So that's what you're doing for that. Number five, this one, I converted into uh, my PDF into Word. So Word did not put the pi over three in the correct spot. So I'm going to delete this piece. See, can't see it anymore. All right, we know that 60 degrees is equal to pi over three. Hmm, that one did it already. So Miss Rivera will put pi over three here for you guys. Just by reading the next question. We got one answer there. Um, below is one way to calculate the radian measure of 120. So one of the ways they did it is 2 times 60 is 120. So 2 times pi over 3 has to be 2 pi over 3. So that means that 120 is going to be equal to 2 pi over 3. Uh, using that same method, you're going to calculate the measures of 180. So we know that 180 is pi, but is there another way we can do this? Well, 90 is pi over 2, and 90 is and 2 times 90 is 180. So you're going to use the same little bubble that she did here, the same little process, to answer A and B of number 5. And C and D. Okay? Number 6. A circle has a radius of 4 meters. Find the length of the arc intercepted by the central angle of 1.5. Um, so for these, um, you want to make sure that you looked at the uh, Khan Academy videos attached in the lesson. Um, and then that will be probably where you are at for, um, so day one of this lesson should probably be the first part of the worksheet. Day two of this lesson, which would be today, Wednesday, um, should you should be on this level. And so you're going to be looking at the relationship between the circle um, and these and the degree measurements. And we'll look at that in a second. I'm just trying to see how many different questions you have like that. So in a circle, of an angle is one third radians intercepted, an arc of length four centimeters. What is the radius of the circle? Okay, that's another one. And then your friend thinks that one radian is equal to pi degrees. This is a very common um, mistake. Show your work to show that it's incorrect. So remember to use that um, that relationship, right? Uh, what do we say? 180 is equal to 180 degrees is equal to pi. So, what is the relationship between one radian? And remember, pi isn't just a symbol. Pi is equal to 3.14 da 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 radians. Try to make uh, a relationship to show that one radian is not pi degrees. Um. Okay, and now for number nine, you're going back at the inner circle and just completing the um, the conversion, right? You already have some charts that are already finished up. How many radians equal 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 90, all right? And then you, if you have your unit circle um, worksheet, you can just write it in. And, all right, and then a few more problems that go along with it. And I think that's it. All right, so if you have any questions, you let me know. I think we worked on about half the questions together. Let me know if you need more videos for this. See you guys soon.